All right, Tuesday, October 19th, about 7-11 in the morning, and you can see we've got a heavy-duty fog in here. They sort of keep this ground a little moist, though, up, up in the morning quite a bit. See if I can do any good in here. You know, the squirrels yesterday morning, they didn't come out real early when I was in the woods. It's about a degree or two warmer this morning than it was yesterday. Probably about 44 out here right now. I shot one out of, I don't know what the tree is there. I guess that's an old hickory. It ain't got no leaves on it, but they come out of that old beach over there. They come all the way down on the ground. I never couldn't find it, and I finally found it. I think I pulled this gun on this for a little bit, too. That's a good eating squirrel right there. He ain't trying to hang it either. I know I pulled that gun. You know, I don't know if I pulled the gun on that squirrel. That squirrel moved. It happened so fast. He may have moved on me. I couldn't see nothing but his head when I was a shooting at him. And I hit him back above the front leg. I believe he moved on me. And I shot one down in there, but I bet you that squirrel ain't head shot. Boy, he run way out. He's pretty far down in there. Yeah, right in there. And he went out on a bare limb and stopped for a split second and I centered him. I teach that old boy to try to switch hickory his own he won't it. He's not headshot, I know that. Yeah, Ginger got his bell wrong. That's a good eating squirrel right there. That's two up here. This cooler weather's bringing them out and they're getting a little older now. I believe I've seen another young squirrel here, but I ain't for sure. Right there's a den tree, and I believe I seen that other young squirrel. He come down that trunk, I believe, when he went down in that hole right there. I'm pretty sure I seen another one. Now, one thing about this place I noticed down here, I've killed quite a few mama squirrels, okay? And you can tell they were nursing here just, you know, a month and a half ago. Quite a few mama squirrels. There's a lot of young squirrels in here, but now killing these young squirrels, you know, they're in here. But now them things is hard to get, boy. They sharp. And they don't make much movement in the woods. You know, when they get out on a limb, they're just like a bird. Okay, it's about five minutes, seven minutes after ten. I've shot one off this old big oak here. Now, you see, it's a pretty good sized tree, but now he's down the ground. And he's slipping up the trunk of that tree right there. Got the young squirrel. You see that old eyeball, a rubber of eyeball. Headshot. Alright, squirrel roundup is four. And we got two headshot, two not headshot. That old mama squirrel still got that old nut in her mouth. Three young squirrels. I'm having a look at this little job right here. I'm gonna put him inside this mama squirrel. Look at how long he is. He's a lot shorter than these over here. And that's a little girl, one little boy gray squirrel. So three females and one male squirrel this morning. Now I've only killed before this morning eight young squirrels. Since August 28th and this morning I've killed three. So that ought to tell you something. This heat's really hurt killing these young squirrels. Now it's cooled off, they'll come out and eat more. They got them supersonic ears they can hear too, and them good eyeballs. They're hard to get on. <laughs>